Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. This is my preview video for my live auction that I will be having tomorrow evening. I'll be on Monday, February the 12th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And these are some of the items that I'll be bringing. There will be other jewelry as well. I'm going to go out to one of the locations um, where I find a lot of, uh, usually find a lot of good um, designer names and sterling etc so there will be surprises as well but this is a portion of what i'll be bringing i'm not going to pre-sell out of this video um let me start showing what i have uh, i have les bernard gold plated these are beautiful signed usa on the inside um there's signs les bernard on the clip and then in the back um one of them has the usa and Made in the USA and the LB for Liz Bernard, but there's the marking on the cl clip. Um, excuse the earring back, earring holder here. All right, they're nice. The gold plating's great. The crystals are great. They're beautiful. Those are Les Bernard. Lovely clip gold plated earrings and they're in good shape like I said nothing missing off of them um I'm gonna bring this I'm up in the air to type the stone that it is now it doesn't look quartzy um there is a difference you know when you look at the stones um this is faceted as you can see I'm I'm up in the air I don't know if it's jade I don't know exactly what it is it does have a lot of factors of what jade is but I didn't have it looked at but I'm still gonna offer it if I can't figure it out it'll just be beautiful stone it is strung on silk you have white and like a greenish gray and um you know like a clear white it's white actually some of these are semi-translucent as you can see and they glow beautifully look at that glowing um but beautiful necklace strung on silk nice thick knot in between these beautiful stones here icy cold and lovely so that's coming um, I have this. This is 14K Vermeil, meaning sterling silver underneath um, 14K gold. I thought it was gold at first because when I first scratched it, I found this like a year ago and it's been in my, I found it on a tray back there when I was going through jewelry. I scratched it a little bit more and it comes up as Vermeil. This doesn't glow. Um, I didn't have it evaluated to know the grade that it is. So I'm gonna, it's it's jade, obviously. Um, it's beautiful, it's jadeite. This is jadeite, multiple colors, let me show you. It's not glowing, I do have my magnifying glass, but I can't grade it by that. I've been doing a lot of reading on jade. I know it's a difficult um, thing to learn and it takes years, but I'm just gonna sell it as jade and beautiful vermeil. Handmade, lovely, everything's closed construction, soldered closed on this. Got a lovely dangly heart in the middle and really beautiful uh, piece of jadeite hair. Varying colors that does not glow. You know, when it's fake and you put it under UV light, it's going to um, definitely, I don't know for sure if this is grade A, B, or C. Okay, I can't say that. But grade A is untreated. So it's not glowing like it would if it was like B or C. Okay, that's all I can say. But it is beautiful. It's a pendant. This uh, torque is a sterling plated thing I just stuck it on this is a lovely piece actually I'll start it at a fair price I'm not knowing the grading of jade on it the big fat beads I found I'm keeping for a while I want to have them evaluated there they are leaning everything towards grade a um and I don't want to sell them if it okay, can be worth a lot of money this one I'll let go though um beautiful it's really nice it's definitely jade um Okay, these are lovely button pearls. It's a bracelet, and I have to test the metal on it. It's a little thin, but gold nowadays is. I think it's a plating. Um, it's not sticking to a magnet, and I ain't see any markings, but I'll, I'll do a test on it. Um, I don't want to dip it in the metal, in the acid, because I don't want it discolored. I could probably do it on the inner part of it, actually. That's the best way to test, really. But this is a beautiful set. You have the this clasp, and these are little peacock and white. Um, button pearls, a necklace and bracelet. And I don't believe they're painted. Um, they do paint them. I don't think these ones are. Um, anyways, really nice little set there. I think I like the button pearls. So there, I have those. This set's absolutely amazing. This is signed 
let me show you the signature. Um, this is a high-end designer. I mean, I've, this is the first time, second time seeing them actually. Um, A-K-K-A-D China. And these are beautiful crystals. Um, I'm gonna make it smaller. This necklace has the same marking on it. Absolutely lovely. You have like a citrine. Let me enlarge it again to show you. Look how beautiful this set is. These earrings are amazing. Um, they really are. I found some amazing earrings this time. I sold a few pairs, but I still have some. I have the Les Bernard. I consider those amazing. These are absolutely beautiful. Um, black faceted glass. Um, gold plating and crystals. These are a citrine like color root bear. Dark citrine. Beautiful. I don't have my tape measure to tell you how long, but long. Okay. Definitely long on those. It's a set. I'll probably do them separate though. Okay. This is lovely as well. It's it come it's a stick set. It's well made. It's a well made piece of jewelry. This is large. I would like let me find my tape measure. I'll be measuring tomorrow. You guys get the idea. That's big. Look, I have a small hand, but it's almost as big as my hand. I am a five foot tall woman. But look how lovely that is. This hangs kind of like a festoon. And it's well made. Everything is well, it's well put together. Okay. Um, everything is attached well. Gold plated and crystals and lovely black faceted glass with a nice big J hook and a safety, I mean, an extender on it. And it hangs like festoony. That's what I was saying about it. Um, I think it's amazing. It'll hang better on an actual body. This is smaller, you know what I mean, than a woman's chest. I'll try it on tomorrow. I'll wear a nice shirt that I can try on and show what the jewelry looks like. Because why not? It's always good to know. Amazing, though. Amazing set, I think. I was happy to find it. I love, I like designer costume. And I know that it has a lot of value in it. I guess it definitely does. Those, look the name up, A-K-K-A-D. They have some high-end pieces. This is nice. This is Sterling Findings, I believe. I have to test it. Definitely looks like Evil Extender. This is like, I, let me show you. I'll try this on as well tomorrow, but I'm going to double it for now, or I'll just pull it up and hang it up here. This is all red glass, um, different colors. This is faceted. It came off of the, the, I mean, it's a J hook. So it, it just, um, I'm holding it by the wrong piece. Hold on a minute. Am I? Here's the J-hook right here. See, it has a, it's sterling, I believe, J-hook, and then you have the extender. So I didn't have it on right, apparently. Put it in one of the loops. Hang the beautiful, lovely, luscious red necklace up. This will go down below your breast. I'm just going to show it like that. Look at that. <laughs> Excuse the ring lights. It's amazing. I'll try it on tomorrow so you can see, but it's an amazing necklace. I think it's calm all glass. All right. I think it's nice. I'm just showing everything. It's in no specific order. Very large, um, obsidian black onyx and sterling. I couldn't pass it up. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to buy it right away. It can go online. I don't know who the maker is. I have had a ring similar, not quite as big, um, before. And I honestly, if you remember, if you're the one that bought it off me, let me know. Um, I just can't remember, but this is right at an 11. So you see, 11, like at 11 and a quarter. It's big. There's no marking on it. It's it's icy cold. <sighs> it's a big ring. I'm sorry, something's shaking around back there. Trail is off the table. This is a sterling ring. It's sitting in a black onyx. And there's no marking on it. It's a large one. There are women of bigger fingers. And if it fit me, I would wear it. I, I really would. If it fit me, I'd wear it on there. It's not that big. I've seen bigger. <laughs> I like big rings. Um, if there's something I, I think I think this is rather nice actually. Anyways, there's that. This I think this is Mine Finds Desert Rose Trading J King. I know it's J King, and I don't have my there is my magnifying glass. I'll enlarge it. It's signed um DRT China925. It's how his things are signed. And I do believe this is part of the Mind Find collection. And it's amazing. Nice, well made, a nice piece. Got a lot of silver, it's got a good weight. It's right at a seven and a half. Let me tell you how it fits my finger. That's about right, okay. 
Um, it's a little bit wide banded. That's why I was saying, you know, checking the size. You see where it's going. There's seven and a half. And I think the other way looks better. I've got this, uh, this that design on the side. It's a nice ring. That was a nice find for me. I did get this tightened natural amethyst, meaning not treated, not heat treated, not lab created, um, 12 karat gold. And this is a dainty little ring, but it, it's rather nice. It's a, well, it's a five and a quarter. I can probably almost get that on my fat little finger, but we'll put it on the pinky. So and it's been tightened. No more big shaky going on. Five and a half natural amethyst, 12 karat gold. I will give you the gram weight of the gold and so forth. An approximation on this. I think it was like two carats, two, like 1.5 or two carats. It's beautiful. I'm going to bring the cameo. This is, um, it's a, um, a shell cameo. And it is right at a 10. And it's beautiful. There's the back. It's opened. This is an older ring. I'm not sure exact dating on it, um, but it's a beautiful carved cameo. Then I have, let's see if she's fitting today. Kind of tight. Heidi Doss. That is testing up towards jadeite. Um, it's probably like Mark and Aventurine. I don't really know. I, I will look at it closer and, and see. But it's a scarab. Can you see that? Let me enlarge it. Yeah, a little scarab. Beautiful. Look at those beautiful crystals. She uses Swarovski crystals in her jewelry. This is an amazing ring. It is brass, not a finish. It, it's actual brass. Um, she does use brass. She doesn't use like base another metal and then finish. Heidi Doss China stone um, scarab. And I think this is like a six actually or a six and a half. It has a little room underneath of it. See, it's right down um, at the six mark. Oops. But it has an opening in there. You see what I'm saying? So this is fitting like a six and a half. I know because it's it's on my finger. My finger's still a little swollen. I've been eating really bad. I'm trying to get myself under control. So anyways, beautiful scarab stone, Heidi Doss, Swarovski crystal brass ring. Absolutely amazing, if you ask me. I think her jewelry's stunning. These are also Heidi Doss, Heidi Doss as well. And you have the lovely opaline, look at those opaline rhinestones. I think they're beautiful. I think this is just glass. I didn't test it, but they're signed Heidi Doss China. These are lovely Omega backs, which are great. Um, you're not losing your earring that way. They're beautiful. Or Heidi Doss are about two inches, maybe a little bit more. Don't have the tape measure in front of me, oddly. It's down in the bedroom. I took it down with me and then I couldn't find it. All right, these are the Lois Ann. Um, these are lovely uh, glass, AB glass cha cha earrings, signed Lois Ann, L O I S A N N. You might want to check her jewelry out. She has some stunning pieces in. She's a little pricey. These won't be overly pricey, though. Okay, so those are Lois Ann. I have a couple costume necklaces here. This I'm leaning towards antique glass. This is amazing. Look at the cat. It's fused. It's, it's more than one color, you know, glass in there. Um, I think you call that fused. This is signed Hong Kong. But the glass is old. I'm leaning towards... It's very vintage, possibly antique, okay, on the glass on this necklace. I did offer for pre-sale last time. Nobody wanted to come tomorrow. It's beautiful glass. You can tell. Let me enlarge it for you. Look at it. It's really nice. And it's it's clean in regards to it's not damaged. Then I have here, I have, this is Lisner. Um, it's acrylic um, plastic. It's signed Lisner. It's not real heavy. It is kind of. An AB glass, this is mid-century, and they have this lovely choker. Um, these are bicone shape, which is a little rare on these, I, or coned, if I think like larger bicone. Can be worn as a choker, it's a shorter necklace or a little bit longer. So I have the Lisner with the AB, I have that beautiful AB. Doesn't that look great together, really? I think it does. 
that looks good together. You can even like make it longer and stick this in between there probably if you wanted. Um, but it can be worn right above. I think they'll look great together with those. Um, I have, these are Anora Pearls. I did, let me change up my room some mess. These are, have that fancy H. That is lovely pink um, Mother of Pearl. They have the fancy H on them. I didn't know what it was. Signed up here. I mean, I did, but I didn't like recognize because it was different than what I'm used to seeing on Anora Pearls. But these are actually Anora H O N O R A, in case the pronunciation is different than what you pronounce. Um, pink mother of pearl little hoopy earrings. Very well made, actually. I could put a different backing on them. They have rubber on there because they must they didn't have them. It has a stopper up here to stop that from falling off back there. And these are beautiful. These are a smoky topaz, lovely dangle earring. Have markings on them. I don't know who the maker is. Let me show you. Very beautiful, though. Sterling, exaggerated oxidation on them. And they're a great earring, I think. These are Thailand. I have a lot of uh, liking of Thailand silver. Uh, some of the best, most beautiful pieces I've had have been Thailand. Um, it's signed Thailand 95. I don't know what that says. And then it's as large as I can get. Let's show the other one. Maybe it's clearer. Sometimes you get that. I don't know who the maker is. They're nice earrings. They're Thailand. They're beautiful. These are stones. Each piece is a, I believe they're a smoky topaz. But they're nice earrings. Why not bring them? Um, I have things on here. I tested these. I don't believe these are Bakelite, so I'm going to ring them out as heavy acrylic, okay? The thing about them is they are very well made. These are a vintage pair of earrings, um, older brass, no markings. See how they're made? They're actually put together well. I did think they were going to be Bakelite. Um, I don't believe they are. Let me show you the swirling in the back. I am not an expert on Bakelite. I, I do know somebody who is, but I'm not going to bother that person asking them. But look. Well, well, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if they're first supposed to look like that. So anyways, these will go as a heavy, heavy acrylic, okay, clips. Amazing, actually. They got weight to them. I know black's a little heavy to test, but harder. But I put them in hot water, really hot water, and it didn't come off as anything. And that's how I gauge it because um, that works for me. If it's because sometimes the polished things don't show up and... and I don't have the smell, the, the coloring with the semi-chrome. So put under really hot water. Two lovely um, spring ring brass, I think. Uh, this one I didn't test yet. I think they're both glass. I'm going to test this one for Jet. Okay, Whitby Jet is it, it. I don't know. Let me show it close up. Again, learning these things as I go. I I don't know. I think they're both glass. Okay, I'm just going to bring those. It's more costume. Two nice, long, black faceted glass necklace. This one's amazing. This is glass and and, pla and um, faux pearls and metal caps. This looks like a Japan, but it's not marked. Look at the, these are glass. That's beautiful, actually. And it has AB. So it's mid-century at best. Um, 60s, probably. Late 50s, 60s. Um, I don't know who it is. It doesn't have a marking on, but it does definitely... Look like a Japan piece. It's nice. Just costume. I'm just showing everything. And there will be more. Don't forget, I'm going shopping tomorrow. These are lovely. I don't know who the maker is on opalite glass and crystals and gold plating. And this is um, like a loose sighty type of plastic there. These are glass opalite up there. They have a fancy backing on them. I don't know who the maker is. I'm not sure. They're not Kate Spade, I don't think, because I think these type of earrings would have the spade on them, and they don't. But anyways, they're pretty. They're costume. I have a little tray. Let me show you the last couple of things, and then don't forget there will be surprises for you. You know, I like a little bit of surprises. These are amazing. These are Swarovski gold plated. Look at those crystals. You have clear crystals here. These are a nice little Paris earring, about an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half. Beautiful Swarovski swan signed. I have a number of pairs. Sold one pair of the Swarovskis because I did offer them all pre sold previously. Um, these are actually Swarovski swan signed as well. Very beautiful gold plated and clear crystals all throughout. Clips signed Swan on the back. These I just found amazing. Look at these. These are Art Deco style. I know they're not. Um, I, I don't believe it looks right for that app, uh, but they're a beautiful earring. Okay. Those are all glass. 
pieces and absolutely beautiful. So that's Art Deco style, I would call it. Um, I, these I fixed. I'll offer these. These are amazing. These are vintage. Yeah, beautiful. Clips. And they're tight now. I know how to do that. I've learned. No, okay. Um, this is beautiful. This looks like a modernist type piece. It's signed T F I and then S S. I think the S S may be sterling steel. Sterling silver. Sorry. I said the wrong thing. See how the pin comes out there. I don't know. I don't know exact dating off, but this is testing up in a stone range. It's definitely not glass. I don't know what kind, um, but I'm gonna offer it anyways. Cute little costume. I mean little Nice little cherub thing. I wanted to show this. This is a nine, I, I believe, like eight or nine karat gold. Um, it keeps the line at 10, but it, it's a beautiful opal. And this is, I believe, this is antique. It has the C clasp. Signed WXXX. I forget who the maker is. I, I have it written down. But low karat gold, garnet, and a beautiful... Look at the opal, it's beautiful, it shines. Uh, what else, do I have anything else? Some more, I have this jade bracelet I found. Um, this is testing up in an F freight range. It's a, and I, I don't, this is a like a gold plating. Um, I start at a really good price on this. Okay, and there's just more costume. I have a Liz Palacio necklace, not this. This is pretty though, if you like your costume. You have these rondelle beads with prong set. Stones of a little 19 Chinese export, like 1970s on that. Um, this is a long, lovely necklace. I believe it, I found it same story. There's long glass necklaces, and it's just like the same length and the same button type of clasp on it. All right, that's about it. I have more like costume. Let me just take this down. More costume earrings on her. These are cute. Those little horses. It's just costume stuff. Another pair of Swarovskis, a Betsy Johnson. Um, the cat's over here. That's it. I just wanted to show everything. There will be more. I'm going out shopping, and I may pull out of my inventory of things that I have for myself as well. Maybe a couple of rings. But anyways, I hope to see you tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be here, and I will be in good spirits. <laughs> I hope you will be too. I hope you all have a lovely day. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.